Well, hello, Silverside's family and all those who've joined us tonight. We welcome you. I'm looking forward to sharing with you some thoughts that are designed to help motivate you and inspire you and, and help you understand the difference of why we believe in Seller Size and what it's all about, why it's helping so many people, how it can help you, how it can motivate you even more. Um, we've had a, a great month off. I hope you all had a, a great summer. I know for those of you who have children that school is getting ready to begin, I want to talk a little bit about that and how you can prepare your children before they go to, go to school so that their immune system is going to be working at a higher level. And we'll do that. So we're going to read some customer reviews and then we'll answer several questions and then um, then I'd like to share some thoughts with you. Okay, so this Jules writes, um, we've only had our solar size trampoline for a few weeks and I'm writing to tell you about some exciting changes that have already happened. I am a post-menopausal woman and have been suffering from ongoing hair loss the last four or five years. I have tried everything, vitamins, a prescription, estrogen, exercise, you name it, and I eventually gave up because they didn't work. Two weeks into cellar size program on my hair has stopped falling out, exclamation point. I have made no other changes. The hair falling slowed down in the first few days, and now my hair feels healthier, shinier, and I'm not getting a tube full of hair every time I wash it. There are very few hairs falling now. Yay, cellar size. And you know, it's interesting because I think I've mentioned before when I was lecturing with Dr. Morton Walker at a prominent university, they asked him, well, what about hair loss? Or they asked me, what about hair loss? And I said, well, we don't really have any studies to substantiate anything. But he then stood up and he said, well, no, the movement up and down on the cellar sizer massages every single cell in your body. So the movement up and down also increases circulation. And my grandfather, by the time he was in his 20s, he was bald <laughs> um, on my mother's side. And my hair is baby fine, very, very fine hair, but I still have it. And I've often wondered if cellar size wasn't a, a major contributing factor to that. I don't know. Something that really should be investigated some more. Okay, dear Dave, we spoke a couple of weeks ago I just placed an order for my second trampoline. As I indicated during our chat, I literally can't live without it. It brings joy to my day to use it. I spend more time jumping like a crazy kid than I can admit. It's more than just exercise, which I'm glad I'm getting. The trampoline changes my mood instantly. The second place is so tiny that I have to hide the trampoline right after I use it, but I can't live without it, so I have to find a way to hide it. I can't thank you enough, and I'm looking forward to receiving it. I put the address of my second address, but is there a way to change my shipping? Yes, and we did that. Good, good. All right. And Angelia writes, Hi, Dave. Just letting you know I've lost 30 pounds on cellar sizer alone. After I lost my family, I started binging on ice cream, but caught myself and started a food journey, and now I'm almost 30 pounds down, almost 30 pounds on that, 60 pounds off this almost 60-year-old lady. Sure feels good. I can't thank you enough for all you do for everyone in our cellar size family. Pictures when I reach my muscle-toned body, I'm very proud of myself. Love to you and your family, and love to you too, Angelia. Thank you. All right. Questions first or thoughts? Let me share some thoughts. Why is it? I mean, what makes cellar size so effective? And why, why is there a growing craze all about it? You know, everybody's doing all these workout programs. They're really you know, strenuous and hard and they're sweating and they're tearing down to build up and they're working out. And I'm saying, why work out when you can play in? Because that's what solar size is. Solar size is still weight bearing. It just doesn't tear down to build up. So instead of creating inflammation, it helps reduce inflammation. But the increase of weight is on every cell membrane. As we know, it's weight bearing, not weight lifting. The cells don't care where the weight comes from. So as we're moving up and down from the very top of our head to the very bottom of our feet, the G-forces 
on the seller sizer. And again, it's not a typical rebounder, as many of you know. It uses a tridactable spring, a different kind of steel, and that creates lift. So you, you have resistance, you apply the weight into the spring, doesn't matter whether you're 30 pounds or 300 pounds, the spring adapts, it's a triple tiered tapered spring. It absorbs that energy, and then it brings that energy right back to you. If you have steel springs that are too weak or too sluggish, then your body's gonna perform the same way. It's gonna be sluggish. The lymph system's gonna be sluggish. Um, rubber band units or bungee cord units are more sluggish. Nothing wrong, but if you want to have a pumping lymph system, you have to have resistance to move the fluid. And the solar sizer is moving up many more times per minute with resistance. So your body has to adapt. But why is that important? Well, as we're finding out, people are in their, starting off in their 70s and now are in their 90s and they've been solar sizing for 20 years and they're still enjoying a quality of life. There's so many different approaches that we can take with solar size. So whether it's brain activity, we're stimulating up to 90% of brain activity by doing all these different movements and bouncing up and down on the solar sizer. The movement up and down without jarring. So you can't do it on the ground and get the same effect because you never really release the gravity. The jarring effect shatters the nervous system, causing certain areas of the body really tense up, especially those areas that are absorbing the jar. Solar size eliminates up to seven eighths of a ballistic impact or jar. So you can jog on it, you can run on it. You know, there's times where we'll watch a, an entire movie and we're all bouncing around on the on the solar sizer because it's fun. But our body has all this movement up and down. And because it's weight bearing, we're not just dealing with muscles. When you're doing weight lifting, you limit the effect to those muscles or ligaments that you're applying the resistance of the weight to. But when you're cellar sizing, because it is weight bearing, you're dealing with the fascia. You're dealing with ligaments, tendons, bones, skin, collagen. But I spoke with a, a customer today who shared something that was really interesting to me. They said that there are three levels of muscles in, in, a, in a muscle. In Brooklyn, you probably know this better than, than anybody. Oh, by the way, <laughs> Brooklyn's back. Brooklyn's been working as a nurse and doing really well. And she uh, she actually drove down from Salt Lake today so that she could be with us on our reintroduction of, of getting started for, uh, for having been gone for about a month. But uh, thank you, Brooklyn. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, man. But three levels of muscles. And the, the muscle that is closest to the bone that muscle is one of the first, as people age, I'm told, that it will get weaker. And, and their ability to have as much balance and coordination can be affected by the weakness of those underlying muscles. Well, when you're doing weightlifting, you're not really dealing with those muscles. You're dealing with the vanity muscles. But with cellar size, you're applying that weight everywhere. On all of the internal fascia, as well as every single layer of those muscles. Now that movement up and down, which is so critical for all of us, is going to increase that oxygen blood flow to the brain. It's going to move the, and assist the heart, making it easier on the heart, by the way, to move that circulation through the one-way valves. It's pumping with the heart. So there are many people that we have that can size that cannot do other typical types of exercise because it's too hard or it's too hard on the heart, the heart's weakened. The movement up and down on a cellar size, because it is weight bearing, when you put weight on a muscle over and over, that muscle can get bigger and stronger and so can the heart. But as you're doing it, as you're getting stronger, you're also making it easier on the heart. You're pumping the lymph system through the body. We, we address from the top of the head down, different movements, and we have that on our <laughs> Mr. Rebounder app, which is playing in the background. And you can do different movements to target different areas of the body all the way down. So if we have neck problems, there are massage movements that we can take to help open up the vertebral joints in the neck and increase circulation to the disc. Now that takes some time, but and we start off gently. 
but that can help increase the flexibility of the neck so we can avoid those neck issues. Shoulders, same thing, shoulders. You know, in fact, I've got a, one of the questions I think is on the rotator cuff and how to increase shoulder flexibility. And that movement up on a solar sizer, as many of you know, when you feel these muscles and you're moving up and down, you feel them flexing with a lot of weight. Why lift weight away from gravity? You're increasing the weight of gravity and you're not limiting the effectors everywhere. So the whole body. That's what makes it so efficient and so effective. You can do other forms of exercise if you want to and you like it. That's great. I don't. And, and most, most of our cellular size family have learned that cellular size is the number one foundational routine or program that they can adopt in their family and their home. And then they can do other things and you can have a better experience. If you're a yoga or if you're martial arts and you want a better experience, solar size. Watch what that does to your overall balance when you need to do certain movements because your body is exercising in a balanced state. It's going to become strong in a balanced state. And feel free to give me a call. I can share more information about that as well. But we have our shoulders. We have our arms. We, we saw some of the going through quite a routine there on, on the arms. Um, you don't have to tear down to build up. You can do it every day, several times a day if you want. Um, we do different movements by altering the angle of our body in different positions and the solar sizer supports it. Now, if you have a unit that's too soft and you alter the angle of your body, it has a tendency to throw you off. But if you have the proper resistance and support, which is what the solar sizer does, you can alter the angle of your body and lift you straight up. So then you can become strong in altered positions. That's what gives sports athletes such a competitive advantage. It gives the rest of us a competitive advantage as well. So we alter the angle of our body to work on different areas of our body. Digestion elimination process, we've talked about them, it's so important. Every day we can put our colon in our intestines or a little washing machine just by standing on that solicizer and lifting our heels up and down and just doing a gentle twist. And as we gently twist, just gentle, it's really easy. We're loosening up the lower back. We're working on the liver, kidneys, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, and as well as the adrenals. But the whole body's working. We're just focusing the effect here. If we want to work on the love handles, which most of us don't necessarily love anyway, we can focus on that, not simply by isolating that muscle by doing this. We're coming down with weight right here by doing this. And so as we're coming down, boom, that's a lot more weight. But it's on the whole body, not just this. Lower back, big problems for a lot of people. We can open up the vertical, vertical, uh, vertical joints and increase circulation to the discs, something most people don't even know how to do. Just by doing gently, walking side to side, lifting the shoulders up and down, loosening the muscles along the vertical joints, pumping the lymphatic system, taking the intestines and helping to move or massage and support those as well. Knees, knees issues. Again, working on the supporting muscles and the ligaments in the front of the knee by doing the jamba walk. Very intense, very effective. Or rocking side to side to work the hips as well as the thighs and the lateral knee or doing the, what we call the ski patrol or the whippy ski patrol. And that one helps to, uh, to loosen up everything. What's the purpose? Well, we want to live a longer, healthier um, life and in, enjoy life. And I'll be 66 in October. And for me, I haven't slowed down at all. I don't want to. And, I, and I, I'm going to have a hard time with it. I get that. But so far, it's been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, if there's any questions, go ahead and... Yeah. Yes, Brooklyn. Um, I experienced a sciatica episode last week. My tailbone is still tender. I was reluctant to re-injure myself. What exercise do you suggest, if any, on the cellar 
want to increase circulation so they can promote faster heating. Now he talked about his tailbone and he bruised that and then um, his lower back. So standing on the cellar sizer, gently always baby bounce, health bounce. Now a weakest area of circulation is in the lower extremity. So if we get edema, swelling, varicose veins. Lifting the heels up and down pumps the calf muscle and moves fluid through the one way valve. So it helps increase circulation from the lower extremities back up to the heart. So as we're gently moving up and down, we're warming up tissue. Everything is weightless, weight, weightless, weight, weightless, weight. So uh, over 100 times a minute. So that's a great, great warm up. And as we've warmed up, and then by spreading the feet apart a little bit, rocking side to side, as we're rocking side to side, we're working on the hips, the thighs, and the knees, but the hips are able to drop down into the mat. So you get a little bit of this movement here. And then this gentle twisting is great for the lower back. And if we want it, and, and I'm showing you a process, step-by-step -step process. And then to work on that sciatic area is we keep our waist straight ahead and we're just twisting on the hip socket area. I put on black socks. Sorry guys, <laughs> not done that. Um, but that twisting. So that's gonna help loosen up that hip joint area. And that's where that sciatic nerve kind of wraps around. We've had some wonderful uh, customer reviews and test testimonials about that. So the chest, again, we've got movements, the, the scapula area or the back shoulder blades, um, we've got movements. We've got, and they're, they're all now, in our Mr. Rebounder app. That's, that's working the triceps. And we're gonna change that color. Oh, okay, I messed that up. All right, let's go back. It's recognizing, saying that the device, since I hadn't been on this enough, we have our a wireless module that interfaces with the cellar sizer to it. It will uh, count the number of bounces, the amount of time, the intensity meter, and will show you the number of calories you've actually burned. I love that uh, little routine. We don't get on the cellar sizer without turning that on because it's just an additional feature. If you have the Mr. Rebounder app, you can always add that device if you'd like to it. But, um, any other questions yet, Ricky? Um, if you're sore in your glutes, should you keep bouncing or lay off for a few days? No, with most most of the time, unless you've strained or torn something, most of the time the cellar sizer can actually help improve, get rid of any lactic acid or soreness in that buttocks area. So again, side to side, just hopping side to side. That's a great way to uh, to work on that. Uh, increasing that circulation because the pumping action helps reduce the inflammation and it can help heal it faster. Um, if you have bad knees, is the cellar sizer so good for you? <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you a story I've shared a number of times. It was Robert Jim. I met Robert many years ago and he was just an incredible athlete. In fact, he he never lettered it. Uh, he went to Brigham Young University, he never lettered while he was there, but he won so many events after he graduated that BYU sent him an honorary letter. This guy's amazing, really, really an accomplished um, athlete. And when I met him, his knees were shot, his back was a, a mess, he wasn't able to compete, he was a little depressed, and, and I've had this kind of story with many people, and I said, what have you done to restructure and strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around your knee or around your joints? He's like, what? I said, well, if you have knee problems, hip problems, back problems, or shoulder problems, it's generally a result of either weaknesses or injury in the supporting muscles and ligaments around the joint. So if we address the supporting muscles and ligaments, we're able to strengthen them, which we can. We have better support. We have better fluid retention. Very often, those issues slowly fade away. Well, I shared a number of different movements um, regarding the knees, and I, I've got several people coming to mind right now. And he took it to heart. Well, a few months later, he goes after the Senior Games pentathlon, wins first place in all of North America, considered the best on the continent in his 60s. He late, 
I wasn't in my 60s at that time. <laughs> he leg pressed 880 pounds. And he sent me a, a, a copy of his uh, holding his medal in the newspaper articles saying best on the continent. And he sent me a letter. And the letter said, David, it's been absolutely miraculous. A positive influence your trampoline has had on my body. I've tried every strength, plotty, stretching routine available. And nothing like your tramp is helping to get my muscle and joint health back. His wife, he said, and I are so in love with what you created. A copy of that letter is on our, on our website. You're welcome to, to, to look at it. It's in his own handwriting. And he lists uh, many of his different awards that he uh, won on the left-hand side of his letterhead. So, yes, we can strengthen muscles and ligaments in the knee. I'm a living recipient of that, those benefits myself. Um, and I got some great stories on that. But the front part of the knee, again, we start off, we can control the intensity by how high we stand up or how far we sit down. So you can, you can determine how healthy your knees are or how strong. You want to work to push your knees out over your your feet, they kind of keep your feet straight ahead. So as you're doing that, you're working this whole area. Keep your back straight, great exercise. Now for the lateral knee, it's just side to side. And eventually, this movement here. Now, if you're dealing with a knee issue, we found it really helpful um, for people to wear a knee sock. You can pick one up at Walmart or you can find them online at Amazon. If you get a good supporting knee wrap, you put it over the knee. It gives that little additional support while you're building up those muscles and ligaments. And again, if you have a health condition, I have to say consult with your doctor. Feel free to have your doctor give me a call. And I'm happy to work on whatever movement might be best for you. Um, I've been told I have slight rhabdomyolysis, so that's like myolysis. It's like a breakdown of the muscle fiber. Um, should I not sell this size or would it help? Oh boy. <laughs> I, I would expect it would help, but check with your doctor as to what you can and cannot do. But because I don't I don't know your particular situation. I, I don't, but I do know this. Cellar size is weight bearing on muscle fibers. And muscle gets stronger when you apply weight to it. Now there there may be issues or conditions that that's not appropriate. But the increase of circulation with the weight bearing activity, we have people that are bedridden that are in wheelchairs. And many times, many times, they will come out and they will sit on the solar sizer. That's the hardest part is getting them on the solar sizer. But they'll sit on the solar sizer, they'll hold on to the balance bar, and somebody else will bounce them. As they bounce them up and down, their muscles and that circulation is working through the whole body. And again, their cells don't know the difference. They're going to adapt because they're being challenged, whether they're challenging them themselves or you're challenging them. So again, um, if you have a health condition, check with your doctor. Find out what would be appropriate because there are different movements and different ways of doing the different movements that might be more effective as well. And you've seen me, where well, we actually lay someone down on the cellar size, they're lay down on it with their hands spread apart and their people are bouncing them up and down. And it's a wonderful feeling, but it's also weight bearing and increasing circulation, taking pressure off the, the back and the vertebral joints, laying down horizontally. And it's a deep massage, not a surface massage. Wonderful technique. And if you want to give your husband a, a thrill, lay him down on the solar sides of women and, and you'll, you'll work on your thighs and your knees and just kind of push down on that mat. He will love you for it. And gentlemen, same thing for your wives. Anything else, Bricky? So today is just basically is going to be me here to answer questions, kind of reintroduce you to the importance. Oh, school. I wanted to mention children getting ready to go back to school. You know, our kids we encourage to cellar size and they, they've grown up cellar sizing and they've done a great job doing it. We know through Dr. Arthur C. Guidance book, Medical Physiology, that 
by getting on a cellar and running as fast as you can for one minute. For one minute, one minute sprint. You can increase the number of active white blood cells in your body by 10 to 15 times. And they'll stay there for up to one hour. To me, that's like giving myself my own natural antibiotic. You work with the body, helping the body do the job it already best knows how to do. And that's one of the things that we can do every day is activate our immune system, call out our civil defense system so that we can stay stronger and, and healthier. Um, I was recently diagnosed with spinal stenosis in my neck. I also have sciatica. I know you can't give medical advice, but if you can, please let me know if it is still safe to sell or size. Yeah, spinal stenosis. We've got a Dr. Jeff Hanks who's on our website. If you go under our customer review, solosize.com forward slash reviews. If you go to our review section and then look up Dr. Jeffrey Hanks, he talks about um, how cellar size helps to improve that circulation, that spinal fluid movement, so that, which, which is very, very, very important for a lot of different reasons. But that's what cellar size does. As far as helping in the neck area, gently doing little circular movements with your fingers as you're moving up and down. We already know that fluid is moving up and down because we're moving up and down. What was the name of the doctor? Dr. Jeff Hanks, H-A-N-K-S. He's actually a relative of Christine, who all of you know, Christine Hanks, all many of you do. And hi, Christine, she's so supportive and so helpful behind the scenes. She's the one who's who um, edits and puts these programs on our YouTube. So anyway, it's uh, her relative. So by gently pushing into the vertebral joints at, with low circular movements, you can actually often feel the tension of those areas that need a little bit more um, attention. And then kind of circular motion where we're kind of pushing up, that can help move fluid, can help break up blockages and increase circulation. Anything else? Please help me figure out the very best cellular size exercise for underarm fat. Thank you for all you do. Okay, underarm fat. Well, this, uh, this move, that one right there, is actually a pushing down and pulling up movement. As I'm pushing down and pull, pulling up here, pushing down here, I'm working the back of the arms. I like to do movement because it stretches the shoulders. There are some people who just, they just hold it and bounce up and down. The bouncing up and down helps to reduce any inflammation, increase circulation. It's also an additional weight without tearing down. So that, that movement there, that works the back of the arms. And so does this one though. When you're doing the curl, you're pulling up with this arm, but you're pushing down with this arm. So as you're bouncing in one, two, one, two, 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 two. So as you're pushing down, you're working the back, and pulling up, you're working the front. And then you switch hands. I have a Baker cyst that has just developed behind my knee. Does anyone know whether rebound will aggravate it or hopefully improve the tightness behind the knee? Uh, well, yeah, it's gonna aggravate it. Um, Sometimes going through that can help release it. Again, consult with a doctor on that. Um, I know what I would do, but I'm, I, can't, I can't give advice for you on that one. Um, the, just this movement up and down here without aggravating is going to increase circulation. Um, doing things like this, you have to test it to see if it works for you. Um, if it does, then let us know the outcome. But um, I know, again, if there's a weakness like that or an area that needs attention, I think of it like a dam. Again, if you have a dam that's holding back all the water, but it's not supposed to be. The water's supposed to be flowing through, but you've got this blockage, right? 
if the water keeps banging against the dam, eventually it can break through. And that's sometimes that's appropriate, sometimes that's not. So. Okay. I sometimes have leg cramps in the night after cellar sizing in the evenings. And the idea is why? I love to bounce and do it daily. Could be uh, nutritional. Um, you're working the, the legs. If you don't have enough, and it's common, you, you check with your doctor. If you don't have enough calcium or potassium or magnesium in your body, then you can, you can have those muscle cramps. Um, drinking enough water, getting enough ionic minerals or electrolytes with that water very important and if we're not getting enough water then that can be an issue as well so cellar sizing drinking the water getting the minerals proper minerals and moving up and down can be really helpful um, asking for my sister as a rotator cuff issue after physical therapy she still has pain and limited motion <laughs> what would you say to test for her and how long would your experience tell you it would take to heal using a cellar sizer. Thank you. I've helped many people with shoulder issues by, or cellar size has helped many people with shoulder issues. This is a technique that I teach. I teach it to doctors. So again, consult or ask your doctor. But by putting the elbow straight ahead and bouncing up and down, you can feel the dynamic in these muscles right here when you hold on to them as you're bouncing them down a lot going on there. As you lift the elbows up over your head, you may feel some restrictions there. If it hurts and you need to support it, you can support it with your other arm and bounce up and down. And as you bounce up and down, those muscles in that position are now flexing and then out to the side. And so we just do a number of these. Again, these are in the Mr. Rebounder app too. We have a routine that goes through and works on the shoulders as well. So those are some of the movements that uh, there's others. I mean, just again, um, and we've got these movements on the Mr. Rebounder app. But if you hook underneath and just kind of pull your shoulder over this direction and then bounce, you're massaging. So you're getting the stretch that often physical therapists will have you do. But in addition to the stretch, you're also getting a gentle massaging effect, which helps to loosen the tension even, even more. So without overstretching. And then again, same thing this, this way here. And then we do additional movements, which you've seen in some of my previous videos. Okay. And as far as how long it takes, we've had people with results in a month. I, I mean, it's, and it's been significant. So again, it depends on how often you do it and what your, what your situation is. Is it okay for pregnant women to cellar size? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll um, my first wife had three children. They all, all were almost born on the cellar size. And she, she did pass away, but then I was remarried to Crystal and, and we had Brooklyn and Liberty and Justice, and they all grew up on a cellar sizer. And cellar sizing when you're pregnant, it's just the approach. If you've been active, then cellar sizing is going to be fine if, if you're in good health. And again, you have to consult with the doctor. But we have had numerous cases of people that have had 10, 15, 20 minute deliveries because everything was flexible and responsive. And when the contractions came, the body responded it, it very effectively. And we've had people who have heard me say that in the past and written customer reviews as, you're right, he's right, you know, with, listen to what he says. Um, yeah, you can, you, you, there's embryonic fluid, circulation, um, moving through the body. My, my wife, um, cellar size, and, and even into the very last or the end of her last trimester. And at that point, I would let, lay her down on the cellar size, and she really appreciated that. So <laughs> she had, a, a, again, a pillow behind her head, her feet up on a couch, and 
her hands out to the side, and I just gently move up and down. Babies love that movement. I think even I know women personally, they love that movement. But um, again, everybody's different and, and work with your doctor. Okay. What is your opinion about solar sizing with weights on your, your ankles and joints? I don't recommend it. <laughs> you know, there are people that will do it, and yes, you can get results. Okay. But the ligaments and the tendons can become very, very tight because when you're bouncing, depending on how you're doing it, two pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds, isn't 10 pounds when you're bouncing with it. It's a lot more than that. And it's leverage, which means you're not just working here, you're working back here too. You've got all this weight that you're coming down with and it can cause tension in ligaments and tendons. So I would prefer just using my own natural resistance or strength. I'm not gonna hurt myself. If you do do it though, I would recommend light, light weights. Does a simple health bounce help your spine go into a proper alignment? If not, what would help you do that? Well, if you think in terms of, of an alignment, when you're moving up and down on a cellular side, you're not favoring one side of the body over the other. Now, if you're out of alignment a little bit, it's best to work with a chiropractor. A chiropractor is going to make an adjustment, and then the gentle movement on the cellular sizer is going to help those muscles loosen up and, and strengthen up along the alignment without pulling it back out of alignment. So here you've got the best of both worlds. You got an adjustment. Now the muscles are not used to that new alignment. So we start to gently move up and down. The muscles flex around the new alignment. If they're tight, they loosen up some. If they're loose, they tighten up some. Then these movements here can help to loosen up the muscles and the vertebral joints. So we can help move discs and muscles into the proper alignment. Okay. But the health bounce is a simple health bounce. The simple health bounce, if your hips are out of alignment some, and you're, you're just gently bouncing, hips often will drop. And muscles over time will loosen up on this side of the body to help support a more natural alignment. And we often demonstrate that when I had an opportunity to lecture at chiropractic conventions. All right, Dave Paul. I am new to this group and I purchased a cellar sizer a month ago. I just love it and can feel the difference from my cheap one <laughs> that I was using. I have been doing your original workout on a daily basis. Is this enough to get me fit and fabulous? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, yeah, you can, if you do my original workout, yeah. <laughs> That's all I do, I mean, you're, it's, it's intense. As you get stronger, your intensity will increase. And I tell people, you don't have to work hard on it. You play on it. It works hard on you. It gets more natural. Just get on it and, and, and bounce up and down it. And you're, you're just gonna become stronger and more agile automatically. Not something you have to work hard at. You play on it, it'll work on you. Exercises to improve hip alignment. Yeah. The, um, this gentle rocking side to side where we're moving up and down. That, and then this gentle, this movement here, that's all gonna be working on the hips and all these muscles as we're doing side to side, we're really supporting the, the that hip joint area. What exercises repair facial capillaries? You mentioned capillaries in the jamba run. No, oh, yeah. All capillaries or just all capillaries or just the area in which you are mostly benefiting. Also, what's uh, okay? Well, let's answer that one first. Um, yeah, the, the, the movement up and down creates the pressure to open up capillaries. We have to challenge or increase the intensity, but we also want to change the blood chemistry so that instead of sticky blood cells trying to get through small capillaries, which is very difficult. Um, we separate those blood cells, which cellular size does. You have a sodium potassium pump on every blood cell, and the blood cells, as they expand and contract, they generate a field of energy around the outside of that cell membrane, and that repels the blood cells from each other. So instead of being sticky, now they become separated. 
the movement up and down increases oxygen blood flow circulation nutrients through the cell membrane imbibing that cell with more fluid and now the movement up and down makes it easier to get those individual blood cells to the capillaries and so the body functions can work now in the facial area if you're doing a, a what we call a, a natural facelift <laughs> is when you're doing your tightening all around this area so you're tightening muscles and then you're bouncing and the bouncing helps the collagen in the skin form or firm up around that that muscular structure as you're also increasing circulation what exercise or exercises heal capillaries from head to toe well the movement up and down is is the same from head to toe um, it's it's almost identical from the top of the head even down to the bottom of the feet you're still getting those g-forces through the entire body you would think it's more of the feet and less of the top that's not true so as we're moving up and down and we had that study done by Brigham Young University engineering department so as we're moving up and down the uh, if we want to increase the effectiveness a little bit you can tighten the body just tighten up everything and then just jump like that you'll feel it and as you're moving up and down that's that's an isometric with an isotonic and with a lot more pressure moving up and down to the body okay hi dave what do you do what do you have for stage four bladder cancer that has gone into the lymph system and the lymph nodes are being overwhelmed by a growing tumor not allowing the fluids to drain out of the legs which in turn will cause them to flood from the inside out i'm at wit's end thanks for anything you can suggest exercise diet lifestyle etc okay i'm sorry you're having to go through that test that's a that's a that's a challenging test i'm gonna talk about the mental part of exercise just briefly i've often said and many of you have heard me say it in order to have what we have not we must first become what we are not as we become what we are not then what we have not becomes the natural manifestation of the person we've now become. In order to become what we are not, we must first be able to see ourselves, each other, that which is around us, and that which is within us. Not as we are today, but as we can become, which is the way I pray that God sees each one of us. The moment we see ourselves not just as we are, but as we can become, that's a first step of faith. We have to see it. We become a person of vision. We hold on to the visions. We're not fighting cancer, we're improving the immune system. We're not fighting against that which is wrong, we're promoting that which is right. There's a different energy involved. One deals with fear and frustration and anxiety and depression and all these anger and negative energies. The other one is hope and purpose and joy and desire and faith and all these positive energies. So and this is according to Dave Hall, right? This is based upon my experience. But I believe it. And I personally went through it. That's how I came up with some of these ideas. So if we're not fighting against cancer, we're promoting health. We're promoting, we're seeing that area as being filled with light. You know, there's light, darkness flees, right? And so many of you have heard me say this, you walk into a dark room and it's dark and that darkness can represent cancer. It can represent a, um, uh, a health, any kind of a health concern, obesity. Um, it could represent an addiction. Um, it, it can re represent a relationship. Whatever that negative thing is, you don't like it. And so you get in there in that dark room and you are going to fight that darkness. And when you're done fighting it, it's still dark. But the difference is the person, the character of the person you become in the process of fighting against it. You've lowered your level of energy. You walk into that same dark room. You recognize the darkness. That's understood. You recognize it. But over here on the wall, there's a light switch. And for most of us, it's a dimmer switch. You hit the light switch and you begin to turn up the light. What happens to the darkness automatically? You cannot abide the light. Faith. So you turn up the light and the darkness begins to fade away and you begin to see obstacles in the room that maybe you didn't see before. So with regards 
to a relationship, promote that which is good. Attitude of gratitude. Look for those things that you can appreciate. Focus on the good so it can grow and expand. It's a challenge. It's a test. Same thing with the cancer. If you're dealing with the cancer and you're fighting the cancer, think in terms of your immune system's job. They're the police force. Empower them. Give your body love. Fill it with love and joy and faith and thank it. Thank it for sending out an army of white blood cells and visualize it. They could be knights in shining armor with lances and they're descending upon the cancer cells and they're just lancing them and they're exploding and going away. Now they've done studies on this. This isn't, this isn't my idea as far as the cancer and, and that type of thing. But being able to see the end result, you know, I've often talked to people who will give a, a person a blessing or a prayer. And I say, can you see that person healed? If you can't see him healed, why are you giving them a blessing? The, we don't control the outcome of anything. We can, but we can exercise our faith. And that's what we can do. No one can destroy your faith unless you consent. Don't, don't ever consent. But when we focus on the light and we turn up the light, I mean, we look at our world today, look at all the contention and the division and the, what the media is trying to do to turn people against each other. I mean, that's horrible. And, and, and it just, you cannot change a person by force. It has to be a change of heart. It really does. And as we promote love, we will start to become what we are promoting. So it starts with the vision. Hold on to the ideas that we expose that the vision grows into a desire. We nurture the desire with prayer, meditation, affirmation, proclamation, declaration. Cancer, you have no place in this body. Depart. And, and then feel it. You call forth. You call forth the, the, the spirit of healing and of health. Again, all that is doing is exercising faith. It's, it's real. It's something that's not often understood, but it's real. Many of us have heard about it. Many of us have seen it. So we exercise that. It's an exercise, just like this is an exercise. And as we exercise that faith, it grows stronger. So the vision grows in desire. We nurture desire, prayer, affirmation. The desire becomes a passion. Passion compels us to action. Action creates the end result. And I ask people, where does it all begin? Simple. The vision, ideas. Ideas affect the way we think. The way we think affects the way we act. And it has a, a it also causes the body to respond in different ways. And the way we act determines our results. So if we want to take charge of our results, let's take charge of the ideas we're allowing ourselves to be exposed to every day. As we take charge of the ideas, then we can start to move in that direction. It's not that the conditions around us ever change, but the conditions within us change, so we start to respond differently to the conditions around us. Same thing with our body. It's imbued with an intelligence. I think that's a, there's a greater potential there. And when we connect with this body, we're grateful for this body and what, for what it's able to do. And we express that to this body. The closest relationship you're ever going to have with anybody is your own. When was the last time you talked to it? What did you say? Think about it. Be grateful for it. But that's a long, long explanation. Um, okay. I remember Dave had mentioned holding the body part while rebounding where you wish to see results. This is my understanding. Dave might have something completely different. Can you elaborate on it though? If such a thing exists, how does one hold? Will this work for behind the <laughs> knees saddlebags? If not, which move would be the best target in that area? Thank you. And I, I, I believe in communicating with the body. Okay, literally, if you see an area and you have a common objective to help heal that area, then you're communicating with that body and you're seeing it being healed. You're visualizing and seeing it being healed. 
and you're thanking your body for being able to do that. And that's an exercise. Um, and that can be done in every, uh, every area of the body. Um, the, this Dhamma run right here, that is going to tighten and tone and strengthen all around that area. So, I mean, it's, there's, <laughs> you're going to hardly change the skin back there. So it's, it's, it strengthens it. Hi, Dave, can you recommend showing exercise to help with female incontinence leaking? Okay, yes, next. The sphincter muscle. <clears throat> it's a muscle. Helps control bladder. And, or bladder control. How do you strengthen the sphincter muscle? You can't have it do push-ups. <laughs> you have to apply weight to it. Muscles get stronger when you apply more weight to them. Now that may expose the weakness initially. Yeah. So if we do a, a Kegel method, we tighten, we tighten those muscles. That's an isometric. When you tighten it, then you bounce. That's an isotonic. So if you're toning with an isometric, you're applying more weight on it to build a stronger muscle. So I want to thank all of you. Brooklyn, do we have any other questions? All right. Thank you. Have a great week. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Share this message with as many people as you can. I don't know what the future is going to bring right now. Many of us are, are concerned about it. Um, we still have some solar slicers left. If you um, are inclined to, and able to get more than one, you might want to get one and hold on to it because I think they're going to be very valuable to those we care about in the near future. But Always make sure you have yours. Thank you. Thanks for being a difference. You're making a huge difference in, in our lives, and I, I, I hope we're making an impact and, and helping you with yours too. We will see you in a couple weeks, and let's see if we can't have another routine for you. Thank you very much.